Good morning everybody. I want to show everybody my front yard and what I've been doing here with everything. So right in front of my steps in my front yard, this is a anona growing. This is a, uh, I think it's a Adamoya. I don't know what type. It was from a seed that I just spit out there and that's growing so I'm leaving that. And I took out a flower bed here I, and I put in some irrigation and I put Right here I have two of these jabocabas. So they're right there in the front. And moving along here, I have this is a, a Cogs Hall mini mango, a dwarf mango. So there was a jackfruit tree there, but it was too big for this yard and unfortunately when I tried to move it it died. But I'm trying to keep my bigger fruits out back, my trees. This is a honey kiss mango, which is another smaller tree. Now all trees will grow a certain size but you can keep them smaller but there are dwarf trees that stay smaller. So this is a honey kiss one and I'm using this spot I think I'm going to put a butterscotch uh, sapodilla which is more of a dwarf of sap sapodilla but that's why I'm leaving I'm trying to leave my smaller mangoes in pots right now so that's a honey kiss. The, the cogs hall is a small one as well but I've got that in the ground and then coming along here I completely restructured the whole front yard uh, we have uh, two other mangoes here so here we have show you guys this is a pickering so this is a smaller mango as well it can get big so that's right there in the front it's getting a good amount of sun and this one's a falan which a lot of people haven't heard of but it stays green it's nice and I took out over here a coconut tree and I'm growing dragon fruit at the bottom of the coconut. Now some people ask me why in the world would I take out a coconut tree. I love coconuts. But two reasons. Number one is the coconut palms were coming over half of the yard here and shading the yard. And then the root system goes out and isn't good for the trees now. Uh, now that I have these trees here, I didn't want that to happen. That, where that honey kiss is, I had a giant lang lang tree which was taking up the whole yard between that and the coconut tree. I couldn't grow anything else here. But now that I took that out and the coconut out, I have room for one, two, three, four, five, and six more trees. Uh, so that's why I did that. And here's a coconut that I'm not taking out. This is another coconut. That's what that one looked like that I took out. And there's a miracle fruit. Here's a star fruit that I'm going to prune back after I get the fruit off of it. Coming over here, I'm still working on the yard and things. Uh, that's another coconut tree. I'm deciding if I'm going to get rid of that or not. I'd rather not, but we'll see. But I have a triumph persimmon here, which I'm really looking forward to. Here, I, I moved temporarily. I moved the citrus tree here, but I'm going to get rid of this because it's just not doing well. And citrus doesn't do well out here. So I'm going to be putting a green kamito, I mean a, a purple kamito here. And here I have a green kamito, which I'm putting here. They could be big trees, but I'm going to keep them small on the smaller side. And behind this, I have a miracle fruit here under the coconut tree. And here, I have a peach tree that I just put in yesterday. I took out a strawberry tree from here. Again, very big and shady. I'm not trying to avoid that. So I have a peach tree here. And I have a spot for another tree over there, which will probably be another nice peach. And coming back over here, this is my, just my front yard. I have an avocado tree over here that's growing really nice. And this is a Molex sapodilla tree. And I'm going to put right here an Alano sapodilla tree. Now I have a jujube tree right here. And then my neighbor's letting me use some space in his yard. And I planted an Aki tree right here. And I moved from my backyard this and that's growing really well there. So I have a katook right here and and then I have in the front I also have some Monster Del Rosa growing here and another miracle fruit. I love the miracle fruit. So that's what's growing on here in the front yard. And uh, 
Well, well, let's look at the other side of the front yard because, because there's two sides of the front yard, right? <laughs> now we're going to come to the other side of the garden here. And uh, we have several trees. First thing you see here we have is a Grumachamer bush, a hedge I made of them. We have a dwarf mango there. That's a red dwarf mango. I'm going to line this, tree, uh, this fence up with all dwarf mangoes. Here is a white sapote. One of three that I have. And this is a Malika mango. Malika, which is a, stays relatively green. This is a Moon Kunsu sun mango. And that stays green as well. And I'm going to be putting planting that right over here. And here we have a Neelam mango. And this is a Maumei here. This is a Kent mango and I'm gonna graft this uh, coconut cream mango onto this one because I already have a Kent in the back. This is a persimmon, tropical persimmon. This is a seedless guava and then I have an avocado there, a katuk there. I have some Muscadine grapes growing on there, the fence, and this is a peanut, peanut tree, peanut bush tree, peanut fruit. It's not a peanuts, it's peanut fruit, peanut butter fruit actually. And this is a peanut butter fruit, so that's there. So that's what I got growing on here on the other side of the front yard.